Jordi has said now for a closer look at the Michael, or at the markets, <laughs> Michael Bapis? Yes. There he is. Private advisor uh, for Vios Advisors at uh, Rockefeller uh, Global Family Office. How many cuts this year, Michael? Uh, that's tough to say, but I think, look, I Does think. Does it matter? Got, I don't think it matters. I think infl inflation's under control. I think a lot of people have subsided the discussion about inflation. Uh, what I think was the problem is that they raised rates way too fast and went way too far. They did? You're going to see. I <laughs> know, oh, that's your opinion. That's, 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 yeah, and look, I think, I think it just was, was uh, a knee jerk reaction. It, hindsight's 2020, though, but I think, you know, inflation's under control right now. Uh, rates will start to come down when that's to, to be determined, but I just, I just think that whether they cut 25 or 50, if something dramatic happens, then people will start looking at it. I guess, to take the other side, someone would say we had horrible inflation. The Fed brought it down right. by, by doing with it. The market's still at new highs, and we are maybe going to get a soft landing. It looks like they did everything perfectly. And yet, do you think by going too far that there are, are some reckoning that, that, that's in front of us? It hasn't happened? Something, something bad is, <laughs> is uh, coming? I think it's the opposite. I mean, I think, uh, you know, earnings, earnings are coming in strong right now. We're seeing tech. Technology's not going away. It's, it's only getting stronger. It's only dominating the world more and more. Uh, we're seeing rate, <laughs> as, as rates come down, obviously, where's the place to turn? It'll be the equity markets. Well, I guess my point was, you, you said that they went way too far, way too fast. Why? It looks like they successfully did what they had to do. What, what is, what's not to like, was my question, for what the Just the, the rapidness. Anytime the markets get something happening really fast, and it becomes panic. So we'd be and even higher, the markets would be even higher now if they hadn't done that? The, vol the volatility that came with that is, it, it's, it's, it's normal, but I just think that it doesn't matter in the short term. We're looking in the long term, and I think that with that, <coughs> we will see the markets go higher. Sick. Both you all think I'm sick. You, I, no, I, I just have a cough. I have a cough. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Can I just ask Michael, though, about the yes, election? Yes, please. We're in an election year. And his, Is that this year? You heard about that? Yeah, yeah we're in an election year. Yeah. And historically, election years, if you Are just... Good. Not, like, marginally good. Just marginally good. And oftentimes, if you really look at it, First half of the year is, is, is very choppy, and then oddly, it gets a little bit better then. So the question is, do you think that's, or do you think that this election year is somehow different than others? Maybe it's the better way to ask the question. That's a great question. A lot of people are asking that because it is so in focus, but we've had how many election years? We've had, uh, you know, times when it becomes really volatile, but I don't think this year is any different than any other year. It's going to be on the first Tuesday of November. We're going to see someone win the presidency. Uh, there's going to be a lot of talk leading up to it, but from a market perspective and from you think a, that there's no uh, uh, that's a question. Do you think there's a distinction between how the markets would perceive one versus the other? Remember, after when when Trump won, there was what we were you know everyone was talking about the Trump bump and how it was going to change. The taxes were going to come down, all sorts of things were going to happen. Then everybody thought Biden was going to come in and, and make it impossible. By the way, the markets actually outperformed. I mean, it's a very weird situation. Look, with all due respect to our presidents, because they, they, you know, obviously it's a, it's a very difficult job. I think when it comes to the markets, asset allocation, everything that we do day to day, it's only a very small percentage of what really matters in, right. in the markets and, and what you do with clients' assets. We do have a pretty good system here for, uh, for the private sector to right. flourish in. I mean, around the edges, it can make a difference, right. I think. But... but uh, I just, it's, it's so hard to see so much focus go into these elections when, when from a financial perspective, it really all works itself out. You think out. AI is more important than the election? I think there's a lot of, I don't know if it's more important, but there's going to be a lot of changes with coming with AI. I mean, if you think how far we've gone from the mid-90s till now from technology, you think it's whatever, 25, 30 years. Can you imagine what it's going to be like in another 30 years? And that's why... That's why you're seeing technology earnings just continue to grow and continue to drive the markets. And the broad markets, frankly, haven't moved that much. I mean, I don't think we can really understand how the iPhone cha changed the world, really. I mean, we, I watch things that I think were made just a couple years ago, watch things, and they didn't even have flip phones. They, they, they had to use, a, like, a pager to get in touch with some. I mean, we have a Sperry Univac that used to be on four floors yeah. in our pocket. It's, it's just... And I have... You know, daughters 18 and 16, and they have no concept no. of what 
this world was. Now, I can't imagine that AI could even be more powerful than, than what we've already seen in, our, in, in my life. Or in, 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 you it's know. trending that way. I mean, it's, it's really getting, going in that direction. Well, we need to find out the... We need to find know, out how to understand it first. How to understand it and who the, the real beneficiaries are and maybe the people that build the guts of it and, and get, I guess, NVIDIA. I don't and, know. And something people have stopped talking about, but it, it's, it's still going to change the world dramatically, too, is this uh, blockchain technology. You believe that? I mean, I think it's, it's, there's so many different avenues of technology that are changing the world right now that in, in 30 to 50 years, it's, it's going to be... Okay. Do you, can you give me individual names? What's your top three sectors? No, I can't. I'm All sorry. Right. What's your top three sectors? Top three sectors? I, don't, I, can't, I don't Top three that. favorite movies. Top three favorite movies. If you were a movies. tree, what kind of tree would you be? If I was a tree, I'd be a uh, pine sequoia. tree. I'd be a pine tree. We decided to be a sequoia. Great <laughs> venture capital trend. firm, right, right. grows the I grew the up sky. in the mountains, so a pine tree would be... Where? Pine which are, which yeah. mountains? Uh, Utah, Salt Lake City. Hmm. That's wow. awesome. That's What's nice. your favorite ski mountain? Uh, Alto. Bingo. We knew we were going to get it. Was one recommendation. Oh, Michael <laughs> wins. That's the best, best mountain in the whole world. Yeah, Not even in the country, in the world. It, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Just over, over the hall Don't way. tell too many people. No. Okay. Uh, and no shredders, keep, keep right? That or that <laughs> no borders. And that's right? one of the... No thrashers. No mad quails. Yeah. And it's connected to Snowbird now. It is, right. So if you're a border, you can go to Snowbird. And that's fine for the border. Stay there. Stay there. Exactly.